and we're back, another video. Um, so today is likely going to be the first camp of 2023. Um, I've actually done a bit of a, a stop off at the moment. Let's see if we can guess the location before I tell you. Mm, Arica. Mm. Give you a couple of seconds there. So I have no reason to be in Arica other than uh, David was just out doing a, a hike and we were finishing off the Arica Alps in Ben Bui and that's the one that you typically want to have a, a bike with um, I couldn't do Saturday today I could only do Sunday um, but I finished time I finished I thought you know what I, it's nice enough that I can get my first camp out um, so I'm heading up north probably going to be aiming for somewhere around the the, um, the King's House area at Glencoe um, I just want a chance to test out some, some kit that I've got um, so I don't want to be doing too wild and I, I knew I was going to be pushed for time as well so I, I, I knew there's no way I'm going to be able to get up and then get the extra two hours to get up climbing so um, I figured I can still get a, a, a nice bit of a view um, actually find somewhere to watch football as well um, and then tomorrow I'm going to see what else I have like three or four options for, for a hike tomorrow so there'll be two separate videos from the weekend um, but thankfully getting back in a bit of a, a roll of it um, but I thought I'd just say hello as, as, as you can see sir look behind again you know it don't walk long it's lovely down here isn't it um like i say it's much better than where i left um where i left moffat and we were just all cloud there's no little break further north we go it's meant to be a lot more blue skies so um i'm fingers crossed i'm pretty hopeful that um that i might get a bit i just want some clear skies and get a good um good sunset hopefully maybe a set a sunrise even that'd be that'd be pretty nice um a chilled night that'd be ideal so, like I say, I'm going to wait for the boys and then chip back in a wee bit. mentioned earlier on I was aiming for Glencoe and that's where where I've ended up um, just looking for a pitch pretty much about where I want to be um, so I'm not that far away from the King's House it's not not the wildest of camps but you know I was pushed for time today so I didn't really have you know I could have parked a bit more local but I want somewhere with a view <laughs> I don't think it's better than that, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look at a, a bit of a flat spot around here, I think, and get pitched up, I think. Three guy ropes are in. What I tend to find I'll have to do now is just keep toddling away until I get it all nicely tightened up. Um, so like so that'll get moved out and pegged. None of them have got pegged in them now. That one's actually got a loose. So I'll sort that out. Um, and then we can have a wee sit down and look at the views together. Eh? Wow. So that's the tent up. It's got a couple of wee adjustments that I'll make once I let it settle. But next up, let's deal with some new pieces of kit. So I've got a couple of new pieces of kit for the winter uh, that I got. So let me show you. So there's the um, there's the first piece of additional winter kit. And it's a big foil blanket. It's a double sided one as well, so it's quite thick. Very very light, but it was a bit awkward to put on my bag. So I don't want to use it all year round. Definitely not. That's going to give me a little bit of extra protection on 
you know, from rocks. It is a bit rocky around here at the moment, and also very much can stop the, the temperature from coming through. Yeah, sit back. Anyway, let's get on to the next item, which you can probably see. It's there. Okay, ah, next up, it's the sleep system. It is the Seat Summit Etherlite XT, which I have to admit, I'm dying to jump in that thing. That's going to be amazing to sleep on. So, uh, it's not got a huge R value, 3.4 I think rated, so that's partly why I've put the um, insulated blanket down. But it's supposed to be the most comfortable uh, sleep mat you can you can get. So looking forward to that, um, especially as I'm a bit bigger as well. Right, let's get the next load out. Alrighty, and that's my, my camp set up for the night. So, I've got the... Uh, OEX, the Thyham, I think that's called 900, um, minus rated 10, I think that is, so that should be more than toasty. I've got a big light at the back, we light at the top as well, I like lights. My bag, got a couple other bits and bobs in it, there's my down jacket there, I have um, some um, my essentials in there, you know, like wipes, etc. Then I've got another wee dry bag that's full of um, my um, my cables, etc. My pillow is underneath, right here, underneath uh, Brett Hitman Hart T-shirt because he is the best there is, the best there was, the best there will be. So if it's good enough for him, it's good enough for me. I'm head torch, and let me give you just another little quick view round. I have some liquids, got the beer, some ciders. Oh, sorry, beer and gins and whiskey. I might put them in the water for a bit and get them nice and chilled. And really, I'm just going to sit back now and enjoy. Good morning from Glencoe. It's a chilly start, as you see. The sun's about to come up, so I think I'll get a time lapse on in a little second for that one. But um, before I go and make myself a brew. Right. So, first night out of the year, cracker. Um, new sleep mat especially worked really well, the Sea of Summit. Um, not as keen on the um, OEX sleeping bag. Snags a lot. Um, I heard a lot of people complaining about that, and also um, there's a, it pops feathers during the night. It's a bit, a bit annoying. Um, but as you can see, a bit of redness coming through there. The sun is about to peak just behind me, so I'm gonna pop time lapse on pretty much where I'm standing and let it go for 20 minutes or so and watch the sun come up. So hopefully it's a good one.
Okay, as you've probably seen, that's the sun up. Not the big red skies that we sometimes get, but uh, oh my. I've just been chilling, having a coffee. I've got to let the sun uh, do its job in the tent for a wee bit and then I'll scrape the rest of the, the ice off and then uh, start to strip camp. Um, I'll take that, the first camp of 2023. Um, Hopefully get out a fair few more soon. Got lots of little local ones to aim for as well. Um, this was this made sense, seeing as how it was, it was a Saturday, going on a Sunday, didn't really have anything to do. Maybe you want to get back for the rugby. No one's gone. And that's about it really. So gives us a chance to test out the new the new phone, the new, new camera. As you can see, look at all the clarity in this thing's amazing, isn't it? You know. I think we'll give you another couple of little shots and then I'm about ready to get rid of the camp. All in all, cracking nice camp. Everything that the new stuff I've tested out has worked really well. Um, I say the, the OAX um, sleeping bag, I'm not as... I mean, it's warm. I mean, I, I will say that. Um, when I, I pulled the little thing up to keep me warm, very noticeable. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison at some point with that one. And my synthetic one I got from um, the Cathlon um, to see what the difference is, you know, get them on the scales, etc. Um, and we'll see what they how they actually work together. But um, yeah, let's see one more glance at the buckle. <laughs> oh, and that sunset is now lovely. Right. Right, camp's done for the day. Leave no trace, just a little square. No fire pits or nothing. Uh, last little look at the buco for now. Obviously I will be back at some point this year. There's the uh, infamous hill that I fell down. <laughs> uh, ski centre hills just over there. So, said an absolute belter of a camp for the first one of the new year um, just a shame it's taking so long to get out um, has got me in the mood now for a new tent as well did find the van go really good for for keeping the heat in but um, it's just that lack of headroom that bugged me and I know if I went on a nature hike you know a little monger too that I've got I know if I took that out um, uh, with the mesh I'm freezing all night so I'm going to look up I had been looking up something like a Langshan pool maybe but my was kind of lines um, anyway I'm going to sign the video off from here get in my car get down the road um, I'm actually planning to meet my sister for a wee hike today which I'm going to film that as well so I'm not going to reveal where we're going but um, it's a nice local one to, to me again it's one of the ones that hasn't been done on the channel yet but um, it's a nice wee wee route um, I was going to stay up here and do a Munro bag but oh, there's plenty of time in the year to get that done and like I say uh, it's just more getting the, the peace sometimes a, a camping's more about see, it's just a solitude you know and yeah obviously I do like to bring myself up here and um, link in some Munros but this wasn't really the weekend for that for me so anyway hope you've enjoyed this video um, I was planning on getting some drone footage but couldn't get the GPS to connect, so unfortunately I didn't get it working there. But um, I might try for Tinto, see if I'll, oh, sorry, the other hill. <laughs> Just told you. Um, and see how that works. Um, but yeah, that's me. Okay, so signing off from the Buckle and King's House. I've got Chris Hay and Mio Boo in the background as well. And I'll see you on the next one, which will be up very, very soon. Hope you enjoyed it. See you later. Bye-bye.